How's it going everyone? So today's video, I've done this before, but I did it with truck uh, tires and wheels. We did it with 24 inches versus uh, 17 inch wheels. And there was a significant difference. I think the difference was like 85 pounds for the 24 inch wheels and like 45 pounds for the, uh, going off memory, I think it was like 45 pounds or 55 pounds, somewhere around there, but it was a huge difference uh, per wheel in the weight. And when we're talking about wheel weight, it affects a few things. It affects how much, um, you know, effective power that you're going to be putting down to the road. Um, you know, turning wheels to get them moving, to get them in rotation, having heavier wheels takes more energy, also stopping. And it affects um, not just performance uh, that way, but also gas mileage. So today's video, slightly different, not so exciting, but we have this 2016 Jetta here. And I want to show you because I have two different sets of wheels and one of them being the 18 inch um, GTI style wheels. I'll show you guys in two seconds, but um, I have those wheels and I also have uh, just factory 15 inch steel wheels with hubcaps. And I'm going to show you the weight difference of those because um, I'm convinced that it's going to affect uh, fuel mileage just because the width of the tire and also the weight. So let me flip this around and I'll show you guys. So here's what we're gonna be comparing. Like I said, just stock factory Volkswagen steel wheels with the hubcaps, um, nothing fancy whatsoever. So these are just, uh, I think they're 195. Let me check, no, 205, 55, 16. So 205, 55, 16. And why I'm telling you that is because the width of them is um, significantly skinnier than what would come on a, like I say, a GTI. This is this is actually a replica wheel, so I'll be completely honest, this is a GTI replica wheel, so it might be different than a factory 18-inch uh, wheel, but nonetheless, it's gotta be pretty close. And these comes with 225s, so you can see, or you should be able to see as soon as I line them up, the difference in the width. So it's a 225, it's a 205. So you're carrying more tire um, and more contact patch on the road. So that's causing more resistance. It's better for performance, you know, better braking um, in the sense that you have more contact, more rubber on the road in case, um, I don't know, if you got in some emergency situation, you're on dry pavement, you're gonna have more, you know, grip on the road in that sense. But <clears throat> as far as fuel mileage, this is gonna be an easier rolling tire. Uh, just because it has, you know, a skinnier, right? There's less less uh, friction on this. So that's that aspect. They look pretty much identical as far as height-wise. This 18-inch wheel might be ever so slightly taller, but what I am curious to know is <clears throat> what it weighs. So we have the bathroom scale here, and I'll zero it out for you guys. If she wants to come on, so there. Zero it out right now. Hopefully you guys can see it. All zero. We'll go ahead and put this ugly tire on here and balance it as best as I can. So it weighs 39.2. That's what it wants to weigh out at. So almost 40 pounds. And again, if you guys want, we'll do it one more time just so that we have... Yep, 39.2 is what it wants to weigh out us. And let's grab our 18 inch wheel. I already know it's gonna be heavier, but I'm just not sure by how much. And let's put this on. So again, we'll let it zero. Put this on. And there you go. This one is almost 50 pounds. So there you go, 47.6. So this one's almost 10 pounds more per wheel. And honestly guys, that makes a big difference when it comes to um, stopping, and, you know, coming to a stop, accelerating. The extra weight will make a difference. You'll actually feel it, believe it or not. Um, because like I said, I'm not blowing smoke. I have lightweight wheels on the Viper here. These are forged wheels. And they make a big difference having the lightweight wheels on there. So a lot of guys will do it for performance, even, you know, a few pounds. But we're talking about like almost 10 pounds difference on these uh, wheels for this daily driver. 
So anyways, guys, thanks for watching today's video. I hope you guys found it informative. I always like to kind of do this stuff. Um, I'm doing it anyway, so I might as well document it in case you guys are you know, trying to figure some of this stuff out. If you're working on your cars or you know, trying to save a little bit of fuel mileage, um, this might be some stuff to consider. Anyways, if you guys like it, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, give me your comments down below what you guys think of all this stuff. Is it worth uh, having some uglier wheels like these hubcap wheels or would you just stick with the other ones one of the reasons why i am changing them is because those 18 inch wheels the roads are brutal out this way and they're constantly like you know when you hit a pothole and i'm pretty good with not hitting potholes because i drive this thing and i haven't messed anything up but i mean when you're just daily driving which is just my commuter car um sometimes it's unavoidable and uh yeah and i'm right now I'm replacing a tire on the 18 just because um it pinched the tire like it literally took the tire and it pinched it and it um, has like a, a rupture on the side of the tire just from that tire just taking a beating because it's only two inches of rubber. But anyways, we'll see you on the next video, guys. Take care.